So I started, you know, playing in bands when I was in high school and, you know, loving the guitar, fell in love with guitar and, and, and that kind of thing. And got into life and started working in the business field. I was a service manager for uh, 15 years. Um, and I had started teaching privately guitar lessons and I loved it. And I knew that what I wanted to be doing was teaching. Okay, here we go on my count. One, two, three, four. I started teaching in Moravia around 2008, and that's about the time that Perform for Purpose started. Uh, we had, um, had a lot of kids in the school that wanted a guitar club. So we started a, an after-school music club. And uh, with that, combined with some students here at my private studio, we had, um, really, the idea came from the students. Here we go. One, two, three. We had a young man in our community in Auburn uh, that was suffering from a brain tumor. Uh, and the whole community was doing benefits to try to get him to St. Jude's eventually. One of my students right in this room said, you know, Mr. B, why don't we put on a concert? You know, and, and, and raise donations. So we took about 25 kids uh, to Bird's Cafe at the time in Weesport. We packed the place, they ran out of food that day, and we raised over $1,000 and it was just so much fun. For me, Jim Van Ardsdale is kind of the definition of a mentor, somebody who teaches me things, somebody who um, shows me things, and somebody who also just like, in gen just like helps me with things and shows me life lessons and things that I can do. Um, he's just a model of kindness, um, just in how he gives out to the community and to all the students that he teaches and all the time and um, energy that he spends into all of that. Um, and all of the skills that he shared with me, um, how to be a musician, how to perform on stage. Um, and then he has this thing which is called KBH, which is kind, brave, and helpful. And I think that he just has, that's really, really good. It's just to know those skills in life, on the stage, and off the stage. Okay, so this is reminding the arrangement. We start from the piano and go left, double stop. I don't really go fishing. I don't really go on it. Um, you know, I don't, I don't play on the, the softball team or anything like that. So this is sort of my, my hobby too, my fun. You know, it's our bowling night when we get together. Welcome to Tuesday night, jam night, open mic. Can we get a big hand for that? Yes. So all of this, we've, we've been able to make music and learn and grow. And uh, in, in, in a sense, that's where the healing is gonna come from. You know, I always say, get the kid up on stage as quick as you can. So he gets this, you know, <laughs> when they get this, all of a sudden I've seen it over and over again. I'll have a, a student here and I'll be saying, Hey, you're ready. You know, you know, don't stop believing you're, you're ready to play, you know, and they're like, and there are a lot of times, no, oh, I don't want it. The mom's talking them into it, you know, and then they go on, and then they go on stage, you know, they may go on at tomato fest, you know, in front of all downtown Auburn, you know, and, uh, the next thing you know, they're like, uh, the first question is, when's the next gig, Mr. B? <laughs> you know, they, they, they're hooked. They, they got this. They got something they're proud of. They feel good about. And uh, that's, yeah, that's, how can you not do that? <laughs>